Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna do a review and unboxing of this Rosswell, Ross Wheel Pannier bag set. So let's get started. So as you can see, I bought this off amazon.com. It was $40 shipped to my house. I think in total you get around 37 liters of storage space. And one thing to note that these are not waterproof, although it does say they're water resistant, which to me means a small rain you'll be fine, but it, you know, if you get a big shower, you're probably gonna have everything wet. <coughs> but that's just a trade off you have to make at a $40 price point. I can tell you right now, they're not that light feeling. I mean, there's some weight here. Basically, this is a left and right pannier set, and it has a top, which is this guy, a top bag too, which you should be able to unsnap and take with you, or maybe you'll keep your more valuable items. Kind of interesting, it talks about here what the distribution company is, and they even have an email address. It's called Ride Support Bicycle Bag. Now, I kind of would have liked to have like a bright colored something you know so i have better visibility but just i don't remember if they didn't have these in the brighter color or if it was more expensive or what it was but i ended up getting the black let's go ahead and well before we get started i can tell you there is a little bit of rigidness here which i've noticed on some of the reviews for some of the bags i don't remember about this one some people complained that they had some of the bags had no rigidness at all which could cause the bag to kind of hit your wheel or your spoke this one does but i will say one thing I don't see any kind of instructions at all. So let's see if we can figure out how to get this onto my bike. Okay, so here's my bike with my Pannier rack that I just recently bought. And if I don't have the video posted, I will have a, this video posted reviewing this product uh, pretty soon. So first, let's go ahead and take this off. And by the way, of course, I added that on. That didn't come with it. Hopefully it doesn't interfere. First, I'm gonna, going to, before I really try to mount these, I'm gonna go ahead and try to take that top bag off. Get that out of the way to start with. I think this is actually the way it will go on, just like that. So I think that'll just lay on there like that. There's some loops here. Oh, we, ha we do have this loop here. This is probably supposed to go around your seat post, so let's go ahead and loop that. That'll ensure that it doesn't slide back anywhere, so that's good. That makes that nice and secure. And I suppose these two here are just supposed to strap onto your pannier rack itself. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, I didn't check on their website if they have any kind of instructions. Um, so I'm just kind of going on what I guess might be the way to do this. That seems to work. Let's do the same on this side. Okay, well that seems to kind of Kind of hold pretty well, I guess. So where do the, what do these attach to? Like I said, you have this Velcro here. I, I reckon it can probably attach right there to the frame. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Open these up here. I'm going to strap that through there. So yeah, as you can see, I just kind of strapped that around the frame. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with the braking. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with the wheels. But uh, it looks okay. I'll give it a shot. Feels like that helps secure the bag on pretty well. I'll do the same thing for the other side. Okay, I have the bags fully mounted now. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Uh, see how much space we have and so forth. Okay. So this is the main pocket. It's uh, pretty large. Let me bring it in closer. A water bottle for reference. Looks like you could fit maybe four water bottles in here. Quite a bit of space, not too bad. Then we also have this smaller outer pocket for some smaller items. I'm not feeling any pockets on the inside anywhere. We have a little one here, little net, net type pocket. 
maybe you could fit a water bottle, a small water bottle in there. I don't know about this big one. Oh yeah, there it goes. You can. Not too bad. Might even actually do that because I don't have any water bottle holders on this bike. No pockets on the front. So as I see it, you have basically three pockets on each side. The small one, the main one, and then these back little net ones. And it's going to be the same thing for the other side. Okay, now we've checked out the pockets and compartments. Let's go ahead and see how this uh, top bag goes on. Looks pretty simple. I'm going to right now take this handle to the front. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to go. Looks like you just simply clip that on like that. Doesn't get much easier than that. Cool. It's kind of loose at the moment, but I guess when you fill it with stuff, it'll tighten up. I don't really see any way to adjust that, so that's for now what you get. The good thing is the quality seems to be pretty good. I'm not finding any problems with the stitching anywhere. I haven't looked over every single part of it yet, so I can't say for sure, but little mistake right there in the stitching, but it's totally fine, I think. Um, yeah, let's take a look at what kind of compartments this guy has. So it looks like it's more or less made to be accessed probably when it's not connected here, uh, at least the main compartment. This small, this smaller netting one here, you can certainly get at while it's mounted. But this one here, the main one, well, I guess you could possibly get into that one. Or alternatively, maybe you can turn it around like that. Let's see if that's going to be possible. Looks like it should be. Yeah, and if you turn it around like that, then you can get inside here. Oh, what's this? Inside there, oh, okay. This is, um, I'm not really sure where it'll go, probably on these, these hooks here, these rings rather. Then you can put this entire, you can unhook it and then put this, this uh, strap on and just carry it on your shoulder. That's kind of nice. So that was inside here. In terms of size for the inside of this top pack, it's about what you would expect. Um, there's, there's a good amount of room, maybe similar to the side ones. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think I will leave it with the opening towards the back so that I can get into it if I need to. Overall, initial impressions are really positive. I really like how it looks. It seems like it's going to have a ton of storage. I don't think it's going to interfere with my wheels. I certainly hope not. But um, we'll see. I'll do some test rides on it right now and we'll see how it behaves. I like that there's like little extra hook, little uh, fabric things here where you can hook things to if you wanted to. Here's another one here with a, with a ring. I mean, they didn't really have to do that, but that's nice to have so that uh, if you wanted to attach something, you could. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, fill this thing up with some stuff just so you guys can get a picture of what it's going to look like when it's loaded up. Okay, I just got back from a little test ride. It was only a few kilometers, but everything is working good. It did take a little bit of adjustment because as I had it before, it was a little bit too far forward and my heel sometimes was hitting the bag. So I had to adjust those uh, rear straps a little, pull the whole thing back, and now it seems to be working okay. I've also added my sleeping mat onto the top here with just a bungee cord. So far it seems like these are pretty good bags, but obviously only time will tell. I have my bike packing trip coming up real soon, so you're going to have to watch that video to see how these actually fare on the road. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.